Welcome to Textination. Joining us is Lance Black, founding partner at Gab Wireless, G-A-B-B Wireless. Thanks for joining us, Lance. Fred, glad to be on. Thank you for thinking of us. Well, tell us some background for folks who aren't familiar with Gab Wireless. We've spoken to the company oh, a year or so ago. Tell us some background first off. All right, glad to do it. Thank you. So Gab Wireless is fills a big need in the marketplace. It started when our founder, Stephen Dalby, about two years ago, tried to find a phone for his uh, 12-year-old son. And like many parents, he went out and uh, looked at all the options and was either extremely frustrated with the, 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 the amount of tech and the cost associated with it, uh, or uh, equally frustrated the fact that there was not a simple solution. And for, you know, for kids, because parents struggle with this whole concept of how do I give my kid uh, the, the power of the internet and social and, and this supercomputer in the palm of their hand way too soon, you know, and, and, and he wasn't comfortable with it. And so he, he, uh, he has just enough drive and passion to do something about it. You know, sometimes as human beings, we see a problem, we think, well, I hope somebody fixes that. And, uh, and, and in Stephen's case, he says, I'm going to fix it. And so uh, we set out to build the nation's first safe network and safe phone for kids so that parents have a choice and kids can be happy. Uh, so specifically, what does that mean? It means that uh, we've created a phone and, that runs on the, the nation's most reliable network. And, and so we're nationwide. Uh, and we, the phone has uh, everything a kid needs and nothing that they, uh, that they don't need. Uh, so for example, it doesn't have internet. There is no internet connection on the phone. They couldn't try to uh, get one if, you know, if they even knew how to, how to hack it. It's, it's a, you can't get an internet connection, uh, which means with that, there is no browser uh, and there's no app store. So there's, there's, no, there's no apps that come or no, uh, there, there are some apps, about 14 of them that come on the phone, but you can't go to an app store and download additional apps, which means, you know, social media and games and so forth are, are, uh, are, are, are not, not applicable. So, so it's, a, it's a safe phone that parents can have the confidence to give their, their kids and the kids are happy because they, uh, you know, they probably most likely been begging for a phone for a while and they really want to stay connected with their family and friends. And, uh, and not be influenced by all the, the, the baloney that can, you know, that can happen to kids too soon. And it's not, you know, I want to emphasize that Gab is not anti-technology. Uh, as a matter of fact, we're pretty pro-technology. We're using technology to solve a problem. Uh, but, but what we are is we're, we're concerned that when too much technology is introduced too soon, in, especially in the developing minds of our, of our young people, then uh, it causes adverse effects that uh, can be generational. Well, describe for us uh, the, the phone that you're offering now. You've got, a, I think, a new handset on the, on the market and what its capabilities are. I mean, it is certainly looks like a smartphone. Yeah, it is. So it, it, it very much is. So thank you. We, uh, <clears throat> I don't have one, I don't have one in my, on my pocket or I'd hold it up right here. But if I were to hold it up, you'd think, is that an iPhone? You know? Uh, it looks just like any kind of Android or iPhone. Uh, it, so it's, it's touchscreen, you know, it powers, it, it is a, it is a smartphone. It, it powers up. It, it's a touchscreen, just like, uh, you know, you'd see on the Android operating system where there's icons that represent certain applications and you touch them to execute them. Uh, the phone itself is, is, uh, is our second generation phone. When we launched a year ago, we, we had our Z1, which is our, so our partner is, is the third largest uh, cell phone manufacturer in the world. Their, uh, their name is ZTE. Uh, and so therefore we named the phone the Z1. Well, about uh, three months ago, we launched our new phone, which is the Z2. And it's got a few more bells and whistles. Like for example, it's got a fingerprint scanner on it, uh, which allows an extra sense of security. Uh, it's got, uh, a wider screen, a better camera. Uh, so it's an eight megapixel camera and a five megapixel front, front picture camera. Uh, and, and so, you know, kids love that. And so uh, we've got some GPS technology for find, finding your phone if you lose it. Um, 
and, you know, and, the, and the list goes on. There's, there's 14 apps, you know, you, apps you might expect, a calendar, a calculator, uh, a, a video player, a, a, a photography, a photo organizer, um, because, you know, we're gonna, they take a lot of videos and, and, and photos. And, um, you know, it's got like a five and a half inch screen. Uh, let's see, what else am I missing? Um, a headphone, you know, headphone and Bluetooth. Bluetooth is a big feature of it. So you, the Bluetooth can work for, you know, earbuds or speakers so you can play your music. So even though we don't have an internet connection, there's still the ability to upload songs onto the device. So, you know, the kid or with the parent's help can, can grab a few hundred songs and upload it to the device and they can play that through an MP3 player. So a lot of great, you know, through photos and, and videos and music and camera and texting and calling, uh, it, it's everything a kid needs. Tell us about the, the pricing for the phone and the service. Oh uh, yeah, that's, that's the best part. <laughs> So I, I mentioned early on that one of the frustrations by our founder, Stephen, was, oh my gosh, this thing's going to cost 600 bucks or 800 bucks or 1100 bucks to get my kid a phone. And then I'm going to put parental controls on it. And, you know, my, my goodness. And that, that's just not, it's just too much. Uh, so we've, we've priced our phone to be very, very affordable. So it's a hundred dollars. It's $99 to buy the phone. And and then uh, it, there's no contract, uh, it's month to month, and, and we have two plans. We've got a $19.99 plan and a $24.99 plan. The, uh, the difference between the two is, is what we call well, what's with MMS technology. So, so group texting and picture texting. Uh, keep in mind that we wanna introduce technology at the right time. So you may feel as a parent that your 11 year old may not shouldn't have the ability to send picture text, but maybe your 16 year old should. So you, you know, you can upgrade the plan. Uh, so yeah, so, so hundred bucks a month or, and then 19 or 24 a month uh, recurring for the, for the service. And you mentioned the, the idea is to make everybody happy here, but I imagine there'll be a lot of kids who would need some convincing that they can get by without the social networks and, uh, and some of the other apps that are popular, the TikToks and everything else with kids today. Yeah, no, that's valid. And we're not, you know, we're not blind to that fact. And I think a lot of that depends on the, the child. You know, we have some parents who give their, their and, and the age of the child, there's some parents who give a, a, a gab phone to their eight-year-old, some that wait until they're 12 or 13. Uh, you know, I think when you, when you give a gab phone to an eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13-year-old, they're ecstatic. Uh, because it, you know, it allows them to make the connection. If you, if you're, if you're taking an iPhone away from a 17 year old and giving them a gab phone, they're probably mad. Right. <laughs> and, and because they feel like, you know, that you're restricting them. So, uh, so we, uh, and, you know, we acknowledge that that's, that that's an issue, but we, we have a, a plan around that. And that is, uh, the, the, here's the challenge, Fred, we've got, um, We've got teenagers on average spending seven and a half hours a day on their phone. Uh, that's average. That means some people are, some kids are spending 12 to 15 hours and some are spending three or four. But the data around that kind of use is pretty overwhelming. Uh, like, for example, a child who spends at least three hours a day on their phone is 30% more likely to experience suicidal or anxiety type of thoughts. Um, 30% more likely. And, and the opportunity cost in and of itself of, my goodness, if I spent that seven hours learning to play the guitar or learning to ride a skateboard or learning to surf or ride a motorbike or whatever, uh, look what you could become. So the way that we're kind of combating the not cool factor, if you will, as, per your question, uh, is we, uh, we, are ha we have a Gab Ambassador program. And if you can read about them and you can see a bunch of videos at gablife.com. But uh, these are kids who live life beyond the screen. These are kids who have decided, hey, I'm not gonna spend seven hours a day on my phone. And instead I'm gonna go learn my craft and I'm gonna get good at it. And not only that, I'm gonna call out other people. <laughs> and you know, there, if uh, I use this analogy a little bit, but it, I, I kind of view it as like smoking 2.0. You know, in the, in the 50s and 60s, it was cool to smoke. And, uh, and, and, and today, 
you know, if you see somebody who smokes, not, not that there's anything against smoking, but if you see somebody, you're kind of like, oh man, I wonder why they're smoking. Don't they know that's against their health, you know? And, uh, and so we kind of think that there'll be a movement in the phone as well uh, with kids uh, calling out other kids and saying, hey, come and, you know, come and let's go mountain biking and put your phone down and let's go live life beyond, you know, outside of the screen and beyond the screen. So, so through our GAP ambassador program, we, we expect, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a lot of adoption by kids calling, telling other kids, hey, let's go live life. Interesting concept. And uh, what going forward with, with this, are you planning to, to offer plans like for older kids who might be able to do more things with a phone? Or are you going to stick in this, uh, in this uh, niche that you've carved out? Well, we, we are always a safe phone for kids. The question is, you know, how old is a kid, <laughs> right? And, and, and that's all independent. I mean, we have, we have quite a few customers that are in their 20s and 30s that are minimalists, right? They want to avoid, avoid uh, some of the, 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 the time-wasting uh, activities that come from apps. But no, so to answer your question, absolutely. We have, you know, right now we've got a phone and, and two plans. We are going to be introducing a watch next year. Uh, that will uh, hit kind of the earlier demographic. And then uh, we've also announced uh, about uh, a few months ago, something called Gab Tunes, which uh, I won't get into too much detail there, but uh, it's kind of a, a, a music solution, if you will. And, uh, and so we will, offer, we will offer products and a little bit, introducing a little bit more tech up the stack, up the age stack. So that we can, uh, you know, so that we can we can have a we'll have a product for a for a six year old and we'll have a product for a nineteen year old. Interesting. So for more information, people can go to gabwireless.com. It's g a b b wireless.com. Lance Black, thank you for taking the time with us. Glad to do it. Thank you for uh, making people aware of this uh, this important issue.